in humans, we have 22 matched pairs of chromosomes. We've got 22 matched pairs of chromosomes. And what determines if we're a male or a female are the sex chromosomes. So we've got one pair of sex chromosomes. So we've got one pair of sex chromosomes. This gives us a total of 23 pairs. A total of 23 pairs. What I'm drawing here is a female body cell. So they've got 22 pairs of chromosomes plus the XX. So a female has got XX chromosomes. Whereas a male body cell also has 22 matched pairs. But instead of XX, the male has got XY chromosomes. XY. So males are XY, not XX like females. So the gametes that a female can make can be X or X. So they're going to be haploid with 22 chromosomes plus a sex chromosome. In this case, it will be X. So the female is going to make gametes with 22 chromosomes plus the final 23rd sex chromosome, which is X. So these are the potential egg gametes for a woman, which are going to be X or X. In a man, the male sperm can be X or Y. So the sperm can have 22 chromosomes plus an X, and then it can also have a sperm cell with a Y chromosome plus the 22 other chromosomes. So the male can be X or Y. We're now going to use a Punnett square to show how sex can be inherited. So you firstly put the potential gametes in the Punnett square. So the female can be X or X, and the male sperm can be X or Y. So the female gametes X or X, and the male gametes are X or Y. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So now we do the cross. So this is a zygote which has got XX. This is a zygote which has also got XX. There'll be female zygotes. Whereas now the female will always give the X chromosome, no matter what, she'll always give the X chromosome. The male, if it gives the Y, that means that zygote will be a male zygote. So the female gametes, the female gametes can be X or X. Whereas the male gametes, the male gametes can be X or Y. If a female passes on her X chromosome and a male passes on the Y chromosome, that means it's X, Y, which means it's a boy. However, if the female passes on her X chromosome and the male passes on the X chromosome, that means it's X, X, and it is a girl. So the percentage chances are as follows. That means there is a 50% XX chance and a 50% chance of XY, which means that 50% chance of a girl and 50% chance of a boy. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Pause the video here to attempt this exam question. The answers will follow. So you put the gametes at the top and the side. So the woman will be XX and the male will be X or Y. So if you do the cross, you'll get two XXs and you'll also get two XYs. So the male is XY, the female is XX. If the male passes on the Y chromosome, that means that the baby will be XY and the baby will be a boy. If the male passes on the X chromosome, that means that the baby will be XX and the baby will be a girl. So there's a 50% chance of boy or girl. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.